Antonio Rudiger celebrated Champions League win in toilet last year. Antonio Rudiger celebrated Chelsea's Champions League triumph over Manchester City in 2021 by locking himself in the bathroom with N'Golo Kante, Hakim Ziyech and Kurt Zama. Rudiger chooses to abstain from alcohol as he is a practicing Muslim whose parents fled the civil war in Sierra Leone. Therefore, he removes himself from situations that may jeopardize his beliefs. As a result, Rudiger took to the toilet stalls with his Muslim teammates after Chelsea's 1-0 win over City to avoid engaging in the champagne showers that were due to take place in the changing room. Chelsea were crowned as the 2021 Champions League winners after Kai Havertz found the back of the net before the halftime break. His goal came from a City turnover in the middle of the pitch. Mason Mount collected the ball and played a penetrating pass through the Manchester City defence to find Havertz. The 22-year-old then rounded Ederson to slot home the only goal of the game. Chelsea were ecstatic with the result, while Manchester City were once again left longing for Champions League glory, having failed to secure the trophy that has always eluded them. Speaking about his experience after the game in an open letter to the Chelsea fans, Rudiger said via the Players' Tribune, The trophies that I have won here, they are nice, for sure. But what really made Chelsea a special place were the friendships. We were more than teammates. So many of these guys, N'Golo Kante, Kova, Ziyech, Lukaku, they are like my brothers. That's very rare in football, honestly. And if there is one moment that sums everything up for me, it would be the scene in the toilets after we won the Champions League final. When we got back to the dressing room, the boys were having the champagne celebration, and so a few of us who are practicing Muslims went into the bathroom to have our peace. Me, N'Golo Kante, Ziyech, and Zauma locked ourselves in the toilets, and we were looking at our medals and then looking at one another, shaking our heads. And I will never forget this. N'Golo Kante had the biggest smile on his face. Wow, he said. We really did it. And he started laughing, like only he laughs. When N'Golo Kante laughs, you cannot help but feel pure joy. All four of us started laughing like little kids. That moment in the bathroom, for me, is forever. Rudiger and his Chelsea teammates are not the first players to avoid coming into contact with champagne due to their beliefs. Sadio Mane respectfully asked Taki Minamino not to spray champagne during Liverpool's Carabao Cup final celebrations in February. Much like Rudiger, Mane is a devoted Muslim that chooses not to drink alcohol because of his religion. According to his beliefs, alcohol is forbidden and harmful. Therefore, Muslims don't eat foods with ethanol, they don't wear perfumes containing alcoholic ingredients, and they stay away from all forms of intoxicating substances. Main's exchange with Minamino was captured live on TV after Jurgen Klopp's side beat Chelsea 11-10 on penalties to be crowned the Carabao Cup champions. The Premier League giants were handed the trophy in the middle of the North Stand before heading to the pitch shortly after to continue their celebrations. The players congregated on the podium in the center of the pitch. The stage was littered with bottles of champagne that were provided for spraying purposes. Minamino picked up a bottle with the intention of pouring it over his teammates, but Maine kindly asked him to refrain from doing so. As a result, Minamino put the bottle down and continued to sing and dance with his colleagues. Rudiger's open letter to the fans came shortly after it was revealed he would be leaving the club to join Real Madrid. The Blues defender opened the letter by saying, I don't like goodbyes but I will try to make this one special, from the heart. Rudiger has signed a four-year contract with the La Liga Giants worth in the region of £315,000 per week. He will also net a signing on fee that will take his wage significantly north of that figure. The eye-watering financial package is worth significantly more than the £230,000 per week deal Chelsea were offering him to stay at Stamford Bridge. However, he was unable to agree new terms with the Blues due to the sanctions placed on the club.